Hey everyone, Harrison here, and in this video, we're gonna take a look at the new Rotel RMB 1585 and 1587 Mark II multi-channel amplifiers. Let's get started. Rotel has offered multi-channel amplifiers in its product lineup for many years, catering to the music and home theater enthusiasts seeking robust power and dynamic headroom that typically eludes home theater receivers. Now among these amps, the RMB 1585 and 1587 have remained the flagship multi-channel amplifiers for Rotel, renowned for their unwavering build quality and excellent value. Owners of these amps have enjoyed years of trouble-free performance, enhancing their movie watching experience with true-to-life dynamics and exceptional sound quality. Having come out with their Mark II versions of their integrated amps, preamps, and source components, Rotel thought it was time that they updated their premier line of multi-channel amplifiers with new components and architecture to take advantage of their research and development. So they gave the RMB 1585 and 1587 the Mark II treatment to make these amps even better. Let's take a look at what they've changed. At the heart of any high-end power amplifier is the power supply. Having clean, solid power delivery is critical in allowing the other components in the amplifier to work to their full potential. Having an oversized toroidal transformer, the RMB 1585 and 1587 Mark II have the juice needed to make rated power plus. This allows these amplifiers to produce dynamics of a movie soundtrack without running out of power or clipping, keeping distortion low at all volume levels. Along with these oversized transformers, the large Class AB amplifiers have 120,000 microfarads of filter capacitance. These slit foil capacitors do two main jobs within the amplifier. First, when the transformer sends power through the rectifier, it is changed to DC voltage pulses. These pulses are smoothed through the capacitors into a nice even DC voltage for the amplifier circuits. The second job is to provide a power reservoir for peak signals. When you have a very dynamic passage in a movie or music that puts a heavy load on the amplifier, the capacitors will help the power supply provide extra power for these peaks. Having these power reserves in place is part of what gives these amplifiers their effortless sound quality and enjoyment. Now, I'm gonna put the power ratings for each model on the screen. So pause the video to see them, or just check out our in-depth article that we will link at audioadvice.com. Seeing these power ratings with all channels driven is a great sign that these amplifiers will power your multi-channel speaker system to its fullest, as most receivers and home theater integrateds only rate their power into two channels. Both the 1585 and 1587 Mark II have smart auto-switching XLR and RCA inputs, allowing insulation to be both easier and compatible with any home theater processor or receiver that has multi-channel outputs. The amplifier can tell which input for each channel you are using, whether it's an RCA or XLR, and automatically switch to use that input method. This makes installation a simple plug and play process. Next, there's a 12 volt trigger input and output on the rear of the amplifier, allowing on and off control to be triggered from your processor or receiver if it has trigger outputs. Having an output on these amps also allows you to connect other amplifiers or components to trigger the chain, allowing multiple component control, so the processor's power switch acts more like a main on and off switch. The five channel outputs on the 1585 Mark II and the seven channel outputs on the 1587 Mark II use high quality gold plated binding posts for each channel, allowing you to choose banana plugs or spades. This gives users the option to use any cables they'd like and get the best connection possible. These outputs are well marked and correspond with the inputs, so there's no confusion on installation. And they both have four thermostat controlled variable speed low noise fans to keep these amplifiers cool when playing dynamic soundtracks. These fans have a thermostat function that controls the fan speed as the amplifiers heat up. This keeps them cool and allows them to function in tight rack spaces. There is a switch on the rear panel that allows users to turn off the fan if these amplifiers are placed in the listening room and are well ventilated to keep any fan noise from being heard. Now, we do recommend asking our experts at audioadvice.com about your placement options 
and if turning off the fan is an option for you, as it will make the amplifiers run hotter, and it could actually shorten their lifespan if the fans are turned off without proper ventilation. And that's just one small variable to think about when setting these up. Making sure you get the most out of these amps can be tricky. However, when you purchase from Audio Advice, our team of experts will help you along the way to get everything set up and make sure that you have the best possible settings to make the most out of your system. Now we also offer free shipping, lifetime support, and a price guarantee. The 1585 Mark II has another option that should interest you if you have difficult to drive main speakers or just want to get the most out of your system. Using the channels 1, 2, and 4, 5, you can select an option using a switch on the back panel for by amping. What this does is take your stereo inputs for channels 1 and 5 and allow you to use four channels of the amplifier to power a compatible main speaker. This turns the five channel amp into a three channel amp, giving you four channels of power to your main speakers as well as dedicated channels to the center speaker channel. We think that this is a well thought out touch to an otherwise well appointed amplifier that will give users options to how they want to use it. I do want to note that the 1587 Mark II does not have this ability. All right, let's talk about how these performed. Now we started our evaluation in a two-channel music system to get a taste of what these amplifiers can deliver to music lovers. Thelonious Monk's 1962 album Monk's Dream is a jazz classic that showcases the ability of an amplifier with natural instrument tone. Playing the title track Monk's Dream showed us that both the 1585 and 1587 Mark II amplifiers have the low distortion clarity to let this track shine. The drums had great detail with the bass drum sounding realistic with the quick response that solid state amps are known for. Cymbals had both body and great detail without any edge or grain. And the snare drum was dynamic. Soundstage and imaging were solid, only being battered by much more expensive amplifiers that are dedicated to two channel audio. The 2001 album Blue Tofu by Blue Tofu is a great album and the song The Woman Singing can really test an amp's ability with dynamic bass. The bass drum hits in the song are immense and can overwhelm lesser amplifiers. There is a bass guitar line that runs right with the bass drum that can get lost in the mix on some amps and speakers. Both of these Rotel amps showed us in detail, allowing us to really fully enjoy this track. The Rotel multi-channel amplifiers handled this task easily and made good work showing all of the dynamic bass in all of its glory. Vocals had good clarity in the mix and sounded very natural, giving the music realism. Playing this track showed us how well-rounded these amps truly are and why the RMB series have been very popular with Rotel. With either of these amps, you get a classic Class AB solid state sound that lets you hear the detail and solid foundation of the music. Now, if you like a warm and buttery tube sound or want the holographic presentation of a great Class A design, then these Rotels are probably not for you. But if you want neutral sound without any bloat or want a powerful amplifier for your multi-channel theater system, these could be the perfect match. Having evaluated these amplifiers with music, we then decided to try them in a theater environment to see how they stacked up. Running a seven channel speaker system, the 1587 Mark II was at home driving a home theater. Movie soundtracks had the effortless power on tap to allow the speakers to produce the loudest of passages without strain or clipping found in receivers or lesser amplifiers. Both of these amps had a solidity to their sound that you won't find in some inexpensive Class D multi-channel amplifiers out there. Now Rotel knows Class AB solid state amplifiers well and it is apparent in these models. We enjoyed our time with Rotel RMB 1585 Mark II and RMB 1587 Mark II and we think that they are a solid option for people wanting to take their theater system to the next level. These amplifiers have the build quality and attention to detail that Rotel is known for and should provide users years of trouble-free enjoyment. If you are in the market for a multi-channel amplifier to take your theater to the next level or want to try by amplifying your main speakers, we recommend these amps. If you have any questions or would like to discuss how they could improve your system, reach out to our experts at audioadvice.com and we'd be happy to help. And remember, when you purchase from Audio Advice, we offer free shipping, lifetime support, and a price guarantee. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like, hit the subscribe button, and turn on the notifications so you don't miss out on any of our latest content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.